Hello friends, this is the case of umbilical hernia. Here we are making the base ball diamond concept. Telescope is 24 centimeter away and thumb is 18 centimeter. So, in the line of telescope it should be 7.5 centimeter lateral and we will perform by only two port and here we will not do transfacial fixation. So, first step is that the content of the hernia has to be taken out and we can see there is some fat which is entering into the hernia which is easily reduced. and only one 5 millimeter port for instrument is used and same port we will use for fixation of the tacker as well. So, we are using here dual side mesh and that is a polyurethane mesh which is made for intraperitoneal application. So, we are this is 15 by 15 size of the mesh because hernia is only 2 centimeter. So, we are just trimming the mesh to make it 14 by 14 and making it circular. Now, this is the bulge of the CO2 in the hernia. We will keep the center of the mesh in the center of defect and 2 2 centimeter lateral we are doing marking. This marking is not for transfacial fixation. This is marking so that it will guide us inside the abdomen just to make it sure that center of the mesh will be in the center of defect and all the four corners should be placed at bilateral symmetrical placing. Now, in this because we do not have other instrument with the tacker itself you have to lift the mesh and white part is polyester that will be towards the abdominal wall and blue is polyurethane that will be towards the viscera. So, here you will lift it and then light cable should be 6 o'clock and you will just drag it to the point where you have made it and the fire first the right iliac fossa part that is the most remote part should be fixed first. After that it is towards the right hypochondrium and all the corners should be fixed first left hand should support it. So, that you should have the proper alignment and be careful that center of the mesh should must be in the center of defect. That is why we have done the marking outside. So, left hand finger will be pressed on the marking so that abdominal wall will be perpendicular to the tacker and then it will not go unilaterally one side more or other side less. So, this is the outer crowning. We have to be careful about inferior epigastric vessel. You can see here just lateral to the mesh inferior epigastric is coming here this is inferior epigastric vessel. This is the other side of inferior epigastric and these two are medial umbilical ligament. This is inferior epigastric and in between inferior epigastric and medial umbilical ligament we are firing the and then in between both the medial umbilical ligament we are far away from the bladder. So, bladder is not in this area. This mesh is made for intraperitoneal application and it is very contractible mesh and lower side polyurethane does not adhere with the bowel. So, after outer crowning we will do little bit inner crowning also at least 4 on the margin of the defect, but any tacker should not be fired over the defect. So, outer crowning is done and now this is inner crowning. Only four tackers were applied on the inner crowning. Now, surgery is over and telescope will be withdrawn, instrument will be taken out. You can still see the bulge, but that bulge is due to CO2 
carbon dioxide and you have to put elastic adhesive after putting the skin inside you have to take a piece of a gauge piece and put it on them like us and some we are using neosporin powder and then a ball will be used neosporin powder and sometime we use a streptomycin also. Now, these port site were closed one was 5 mm other is 10 mm and now a ball will be a small tennis ball like gauze piece will be formed and it will put in the umbilicus and then you can apply elastic adhesive over that. So, that once you will remove it after few days during the removal of a stitches you will see umbilicus will go completely inside and there will be no chances of any seroma also and the shape of the umbilicus will be very good and it will enter inside the abdomen it will not be elevated. So, thank you for watching this video just was this was a simple case of umbilical hernia where IPOM technique was used.